The Australian pound, based on the British pound, was created in 1910. Well, that was until this guy came along. In come the dollars, in come the cents, to replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence. Be prepared, folks, when the coins begin to mix on the 14th of February, 1966. Australian one dollar notes. This side has this portrait. When they actually printed this note in 1966. They didn't actually um, acknowledge David Malangi. Malangi is the only adult male left in the Manurnu tribe. In 1963, Mr. Carol Kupka of the Paris Museum, he collected a number of paintings, including some by Malangi. Mr. A.C. McPherson of the Reserve Bank of Australia saw these paintings in Paris, and one of Malangi's was brought back to Australia. Eventually, it was chosen for the new $1 note. Yathlamara, a billabong on the northern tip of Arnhem Land. It's the home of David Malangi, one of Australia's most celebrated traditional artists and tribal custodian of this place. The responsibility for their story was passed to David from his father and grandfather. I remember him a little bit. I remember him a little bit. Kololo, Ninike Taupa, Ninike is the place. Taupa is the region. You see, it's roads like this all across Arnhem Land that make land travel time consuming dangerous and often impassable in the wet season. This leaves hundreds of communities and homelands all across Arnhem Land stranded, isolated. We come from a society where it's perfectly balanced. The Olmo system is not a self-destructive system. We all know have survived to this day because of our knowledge. We believe you all know, when we are walking, we're not only alive physically, we are alive spiritually. Actually doing this one like pulling, you see? Everyone really enjoyed the experience, especially the students. <laughs> oh 
On behalf of Upper Yarra Community House, we would like to thank the Arnhem Weavers for coming out to the Una Pathways program and we would welcome any other visitors. Today there is times when, when I go to country and I've got my children, I've got my grandchildren, get some wild honey, bush honey, coco. And when you find honey and you forget about the hot sand, the hot, the sweat, there's nothing like enjoying something straight from your country onto the bush fire and eating it fresh. Arts and country and environment are all one. You, you can't separate those three things from each other. And why are these three elements are so important to protect today? It's an identification. It's you knowing who you are, where you've come from, where your ancestors are from. Without those ID, you are nobody. You don't exist.